if we could use the last few minutes here to talk about the gut microbiome, is that okay? I mean, yeah, I was I was just going to say, and the microbiome. That's actually what I was thinking when you were talking about yeah, the changes, man. positive and negative changes of diet. Yeah, please. Be because it's so relevant to the battle cancer story. Now, I'm sure you, you, uh, you know, the gut microbiome is very well known now. A lot of people talk about it. What are we talking about? We're talking about the hundreds of trillions of microbes, bacteria, viruses, yeasts, archaea that live in your intestine. Uh, you know, as many cells as the rest of your human body, maybe 150 times more genetic material than the rest of your human body. Your gut microbiome begins to develop moments after your birth, maybe even before your birth. Some studies suggest we have a microbiome in the womb, which is fascinating, but it really takes off at that moment you're born, helps us to digest our first meal, is crucial to the development of our healthy GI tract when we're little tiny babies, and remains really crucial for our health as grown-ups. In fact, it's been referred to as a control center for human biology. Now, the gut microbiome mostly resides in our colon, which is where we get colon cancer. And the, the cells of our bowel that become abnormal in bowel cancer and gradually go through this progression, Chris, from healthy cells to cells that are overgrowing a little bit to cells that form a polyp, which we call an adenoma, a precancerous lesion, and then go on in many cases to become an adenocarcinoma, a cancer which is completely dysregulated and has the ability to invade our tissues and spread to other parts of our body and shorten our life expectancy. As those cells are going through that process, they are, they are in constant contact with our bloodstream and our immune system, but they are also in constant contact with the microbes of our gut microbiome. So of course, our gut microbiome has a role to play in our risk of developing bowel cancer. Thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, why not subscribe? Here's a link to do that. And if you'd like to watch the full interview, you can find it at chrisbeatcancer.com. There's a link to it in the description right below this video.